Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and enjoy this video, because today, my friends, I offer you a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So today, we're just covering two things. This video is not going to be long at all, but uh, very important because, for me anyway, I am going to be showcasing yarns for Luck of the Draw number nine, and then I'm also announcing my two replay giveaway winners uh, from the most recent live that I had here on the channel. So this giveaway is a little different in that when I announced the giveaway and what it was all about, I put conditions in place. So you had to be a subscriber to my channel before the video actually aired. So I did say in the video that it is not an attempt to gain subscribers, but just a way for me to make sure that my prizes are going to subscribers to my channel. So all subscribers are eligible. Um, once your name was chosen, because I do have the winners right here on the paper, I go and I do my checks and I make sure that you were publicly subscribed to my channel before the date of the video. So both of my winners have been put through the checks and they passed, so we're good. So I will be announcing those in just a moment. But I just wanted to share some cakes that I made today while on a Zoom call, just because. <laughs> I just love making scrap cakes. I don't know why, but I do. So here's a scrap cake. No rhyme, no reason. There's another one. Love that for us. And then here's another one. And this one here is a replay giveaway. And this one is a replay giveaway. I Oh, here's the other one. So there's four cakes here. And I changed yarns so much. And I also used both ball winders. I used the stand wood as well as my knit picks. So they both came out the same way, if I'm being perfectly honest. And there were so many yarn changes on here that I think whoever receives these will be very happy with the way these work up. So contrast was the most important part of all of this for me. I want to make sure that if you decide to work a corner to corner or a back and forth or in the round, you will see consistent changes throughout your project. So these cakes are not for me. They are for my channel, whether you're a subscriber or a member. And if you want to become eligible for future giveaways, please hit the subscribe button. It's free. And uh, yeah, so when I do the giveaways and I do my checks, you'll be eligible. Okay. So again, these cakes are for giveaways for the channel. A lot of people love these cakes, and so I just want to make sure that these are readily available for giveaways. So there's that. All right, so the two cakes that are up for the win, let me show you. So here we have this cake here. It's beautiful. It's all the things. Let me just get you in there close. Grab your forks, friends. This cake is delicious. All right, and then if that wasn't enough, grab yourself a paper plate because here's another helping. That's so good. Say main course dessert, or you can do main course and dessert, doesn't matter. This might give you inspiration to make some cakes of your own. And to be perfectly honest with you, I would love to see everyone make cakes like this and work up the scraps that you have in your stash because I don't know about you, but I have tons and tons and tons of little scrap balls just laying all over the place. And what better way to take care of all that by, you know, than to just put it in, into a cake. So there's that. All right. So let me go ahead and place you guys on a brief pause. I'll be right back. I'm just going to organize my table and then we're going to announce the winners. Okay. One second. Okay, friends. So I am back and let me just show you these cakes one more time while I tell you all the things. So as I said yesterday during the live, I mentioned that there are terms and conditions. Okay. First and foremost, I want to make sure that these go to subscribers of my channel. So you had to have been subscribed to my channel before the date of the video. Again, this is not an attempt to gain subscribers. It's literally just to make sure that these cakes go to people who watch my channel and that you're just not here for the giveaways. So you had to be publicly subscribed to my channel before the date of the video. Um, if your name is chosen, I do my checks. I am able to see when you subscribed and then we go from there. I did my picks using the random comment picker and I have verified uh, my two winners. And so the first winner is 
Diane Sass 9901. And the second one is Loretta Dubois 3438. Congratulations to both of you guys. You have 24 hours to email me at wandtheyarnaddict at gmail.com. Tell me you're the winner. Tell me which color you'd like, the white or the pink. I'm sorry, <laughs> the white or the purple. I can't tell my colors. Tell me the color that you want, okay? If it's taken already, I will tell you in a, res uh, a reply email, all right? Um, and also, I need your contact information. I need to know where to send this. Again, you have 24 hours, and if I don't hear from you within 24 hours, I will have assumed that you forfeited your prize, and it will roll over to the next giveaway, okay? So one more time, Loretta Dubois, 3438, and Diane Sass, 9901. Congratulations to both of you, okay? So there is that. All right, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about very quickly is Luck of the Draw. So Luck of the Draw number nine has officially launched. It rolled out on Mama Swift's channel. I will go ahead and link that channel down below. Um, her name is Trisha. She's a wonderful podcaster. She's now back on the YouTube streets. And so if you're not already subscribed to her channel, consider subscribing. She's all the things. So... Um, she gives us all the information for Luck of the Draw. The one thing that um, I am sharing with you guys is um, the yarns. So I want to show you what I've chosen for Luck of the Draw number nine, and there's a, a theme here. So I am featuring Premier Yarn for my Luck of the Draw uh, picks. So for my neutral color, um, watch the video, you'll know what I mean. So. For my neutral color, I have chosen Premier's Just Yarn in this big ball here. This is 875 yards, 800 meters, 14 ounces at 400 grams. This is a four weight yarn and they suggest a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. The color is white. So this is my neutral. And then here are the colors. So I have these little balls of Premier Just Yarn from the dollar 25 tree so before I tell you anything about this if you go to premieres website I have a link it's in the description box if you go there you will now see this on their website and it's on sale right now three of these balls for three dollars okay so that's a great deal if you if you ask me I think it's great and all the colors are available so anyway um, here I have a leaker <laughs> It's a leaker, friends. So the colorway is sandstone, and it is a medium four weight yarn. This is 109 yards, 100 meters. It's 1.76 ounces at 50 grams. So they're little 50 gram balls um, for a dollar 25 if you get them from Dollar Tree, or a dollar each if you buy three at a time on Premier's website. It's very soft and squish, and I am in love with this sandstone color. So we have sandstone. We also have mustard. I love this color. It's so good. I'm actually going to hold them here so you can see all the colors as we build the whole pyramid of colors here. So next we have meadow, which is like a sagey green. It's like a muted sage green. Very nice. It's called meadow. So I'm going to sit that there. Next we have petal. So this is a blushy pink. I know, I know. Please don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> I needed eight colors, and this is what I had. It's a blushy pink. So we're going to put that right there. <laughs> Next, we have purple. I love that. That's a very, like, varsity-ish type purple, like a Crayola purple. Love that. And by the way, all the specs are exactly the same, okay? Next, we have red. That's a beautiful red, and I think it's necessary for all these colors here. It just makes it make sense, you know? Next, we have royal blue. So there's that. And we also have another colorway here. What's the name of this? This is called leaf. So there's that. So far, we have all these wonderful colors, and I've ran out of space. So let me just finagle myself on my arm here, okay? You learn how to make it work when, you, when you're when you used to dealing with lots of yarn. 
And last but certainly not least, we have Mist, which is like a bluish gray, but more on the gray. It's like a light, it's like a light gray. So there you have it. So for my first look of the draw project, we have all the colors here and then my neutral color, which does not get a number. So um, I am going to assign numbers to all of my yarns. And so um, when the numbers get chosen, I will choose that particular yarn for the project of my choice. Now, as far as the project is concerned, I have chosen a project and I am going to get started on it because Luck of the Draw has already started. So again, if you want details on this, head over um, to Mama Swift's channel to you know obtain all that information. I think you're going to really enjoy this because you can literally do anything you want. Again, it sounds confusing. It sounds cryptic. But I, I tell you, if you go over there and you get that information, you're going to be super excited like I am. So there are the yarns for the Luck of the Draw project that I'm working on. And I will showcase the actual project on the next podcast episode. So just a little teaser here. All right. So uh, the final thing before I let you guys go, again, like I said, this is just going to be a short video. Okay. Um, I have the prototype done for my next shawl, and I've showcased this um, during some lives and things, and I'm comfortable to say that I'm happy with the design. It's currently in testing, but I show you the prototype because I'm looking for a name. So I'm asking everyone, like, what would you name this if this were yours, okay? So if you provide a response to my question down below, that's indicating to me that um, I can use it if I choose it and you give me permission to say your name um, because I want to make sure that the person who I choose gets credit uh, where credit is due. So here is the shawl. This is the prototype version. It's a four point shawl and I stopped um, after my Karen one pound ran out. So I technically should and could go further with this. Actually, I need to go further with this. But I show you this to just, I don't know, um, hopefully get some sort of response from you guys. What would you call this? Okay. So sound off in the comments if you're okay with me potentially choosing a name that you pick. Okay. So I can't wait to see the comments. I can't wait to see... Um, what it is that you guys come up with for this um, and if you're chosen I will give you credit and I will also send you a prize so let's just wait and see what becomes of that so my friends that is all I have for today's video again as I said twice before this is a very short and sweet video um, the winners congratulations please make sure you email me you have 24 hours tell me all the things that I need to be told and then we will go from there. Okay. So that is it for now. And until the next one, guys, take care. Bye.